Hi, I'm Peter Birch and welcome to today's show. We're gonna be talking about tiger snakes. That's right, tiger snakes here in Australia. Make sure you hit that like button and the subscribe button. Check out where we are today. Look at this amazing place. Today, guys, we're gonna be talking about tiger snakes, but more importantly, whenever we're dealing with venomous snakes, we should be using some equipment. Now, today, I've got this beautiful snake hook. It's actually a specialized, a lapid snake hook with this nice V thing. Now, it comes from Heath Snake Control. We'll leave the links in the description there. But check this out. Look at this beautiful creature right here, the tiger snake. I absolutely love these guys. They're gorgeous creatures. And this is a beautiful example of a tiger snake, that nice looking bands right through there. And look at him. He's nice and pale and beautiful colored. Now, particularly these guys are an extremely venomous snake. In Australia, these are considered the fourth most venomous snake in Australia. Now, the reason why is because they do have the potential to uh, actually kill you. So you need to be very, very cautious when working with these animals. And this guy is a good sized animal. Now, believe it or not, this is an average size mainland or a common tiger snake. Now, some of the island populations, especially down in the Chapel Islands, they get much bigger. They can get in excess of six feet and get really girthy. Now that's particularly because they're feeding on things like mutton birds, little baby mutton birds that live in the holes there. Now this gorgeous guy, typically they like to feed on things like frogs and lizards. So you usually find them in these wet areas around water courses. At this size, obviously, they become a little bit less fussy when it comes to food. So these guys are eating things like mice, birds, other snakes, lizards, anything basically they come across. Very cool snakes indeed. Now these guys deserve a lot of respect. And as you can see, he's not particularly too aggressive. These guys are, aren't considered super aggressive, but they will stand their ground. And if you do sort of mess with them a fair bit and you're not trained or qualified, then you're going to receive a very nasty bite. Now these guys can typically inject you with something like 35 milligrams of venom with one particular instance where someone received 180 grams, uh, uh, milligrams I should say, quite a huge amount of venom. The venom glands are here at the back of the head right there. And that's the reason why that gives them that sort of fattish head. So quite large venom glands. Now, like I said, it's considered the fourth most toxic land snake, not only in Australia, but in the world. Now, unfortunately, its range simply coincides with a lot of the human population here in Australia. And that's the reason why they sort of come in our way. And that's the reason why people usually get bitten. Because of our population is growing, we're incurring more and more on their beautiful landscapes where they like to live hunt, play, and survive. We're the ones encroaching on them. They do have this very impressive threat display, which is very similar to some of the cobras that you see. They'll actually puff out the hood here at the base of the neck. And what they typically do, which he's feeling very comfortable, you can see him starting to puff up a little bit there. They sort of flick themselves. They don't actually stand up, rear up, and then strike forward. These guys will sort of puff themselves up a bit and they sort of flick to the side. And if you're to the side, then that's usually how you're gonna get bitten. Now, there are live bearing species. They usually produce around 20 to 30 live babies. Now, each baby comes out in a like clear membrane sac. They tear their way out of that sac and they make their way out into the world. Now, their venom from day dot, from the day that they're born, is the same toxicity. Now, the problem is when you have a small snake, which is about this big, it's not gonna produce the huge quantities of venom. And it's the quantity and the toxicity which is really going to affect humans in all sorts of things. So the tiger snake's venom is pretty nasty. It's got some presynaptic, some postsynaptic neurotoxins. It's got some myotoxins and procoagulants. Now, what do the procoagulants do? Well, they actually affect the clottable ability of blood. So therefore you're going to get a lot of bruising and internal bleeding. That's what makes these guys pretty nasty. One of the other cool things that you guys probably don't know right now is I'm actually a little bit uh, hypersensitive to the tiger snake venom. So I'm gonna treat this guy with a lot of respect and caution, which is exactly what he deserves. An absolute gorgeous, gorgeous creature in his own right. Tiger snakes can be found in just about every state of Australia, Queensland, New South Wales, Victoria, ACT, South Australia, Tasmania, and Western Australia, all except for the Northern Territory, which is way too hot, way too dry. These guys, like I said before, prefer cooler climate and wetter environments. Now saying that, when we look at some of the species down from Victoria and um, down into the islands there in Tasmania, they're almost, some of them will be jet black, absolutely jet black. Some could be gigantic. So all different island variations do exist to the tiger snake. They're probably one of the most prolific venomous snakes that we used to have here in Australia. Now, some people would say that these were the most common venomous snake that you would ever come upon on the East Coast. 
but unfortunately because of our populations growing and we're intruding on their environments, their populations are dwindling. Now as you can see, he's only curious, he's not trying to bite, he's just curious at the moment. He's just having a look around, very curious. Now like I said before, that venom is very toxic. Fourth most venomous snake, not only here in Australia, but in the world, guys. That's right, in the world. Now, these guys have a lifespan anywhere up to 25 to 30 years. I know it's hard to believe, but they're quite long-lived animals. These guys have a particularly fast metabolism. They uh, can eat and digest that food pretty quickly. Anyone that keeps these guys in captivity will understand how much of a mess these guys can make. Very messy little things. The venom works pretty quickly because it's got to stop and immobilize that prey item before it can disappear and get away. The venom also helps to break down that body of the animal, so it starts the pre-digestion that starts pre-digesting the animal on the inside so when the snake actually gets it down into his tummy he can digest that a lot quicker and get all those awesome nutrients and get out there and consistently find more food now he's not an ambush predator he doesn't sit and wait you can see he's quite active they'll hunt and move around typically during the day but on severe or well, really warm nights these guys will be quite active moving around searching for food the tiger snake absolutely amazing now I can tell you this, an absolute gorgeous animal that deserves respect, care, and admiration. Now I hope you guys enjoyed today's show. I hope you learned something new. And don't forget guys, make sure you hit that like button and the subscribe button. And thanks for continuing to enjoy the adventure here on Criticam.